Well, we got another package. All right, let's check it out. Oh, good doggy. Welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we have something from Numrich, also known as Gun Parts Corp. Feel free to check them out, Numrich. They have a large variety of items. Numrich. So let's go ahead and get you out of the way. Thank you. And let's see how we can get this open. This is the bottom of the box. So we'll see if there's a manifest or not. Reinforced tape. Very tight fit. Okay, try to cut away from myself here. Alright, we're in. Let's empty everything out. Looks like they give us a current newspaper for entertainment and packing. Heavy items, a bit of bubble wrap, see a manifest. Okay, that's it. So, let's see if I can get the logo into view here for you. So, Numrich Gun Parts Corporation. Let's see, easiest thing here, round number one, I see entrenching tool carrier cover, shovel cover, so let's see, a bit of a buckle of latch there, rivets, of these are magnetic. I don't think any of them are, which is good. So I'm not getting a magnetic response from these at all. Okay. So again, entrenching tool, carrier, shovel cover. Next up. Let's see, let's go with this. These are pouch single grenade military type quantity two. So they came in their own bag, looks like. Trying to get them open here. These appear to be of the East German variety, the mesh type, but with the belt hooks, metallic. So that's very interesting. These are steel. You can see the magnetic response there. So again, those are the pouch single grenade military type, and then they say N. Got these two. Uh, we ordered two grenade launchers. I'm going to refer to my notes here. One is the SKS Yugo, which I believe this is that one right here. Let's get them out of the pouch here. And according to the website, this was the SKS Yugo 59 slash 66 so you can see there a little pinhole pretty much a clear view through the bore and this would be the business end this would be the end that attaches to the barrel and then this would be, be the spigot that the base of the grenade would be on so again and SKS Yugo 59 slash 66 grenade launcher. Very interesting. There. In case there's any Cosmoline. This should be a 
another grenade launcher used SMLE number four mark one so let's go ahead and get this out of its bag okay let's see here has the sight attachment right on it this would be the spigot end the business end at the base of the grenade would attach to this end would attach to the barrel looks like a tightening attachment there I do see already one stamp marking right there we're gonna have to do a little bit of research there pretty nice condition and a very cool item so again, another type of grenade launcher, quote unquote, uh, and this one would be used, you can see from the wear, for an SMLE pattern, number four, mark one. Keep that on the, on the bag. This, okay, we're going back to some sort of web gear here, is a Chinese stick grenade pouch OD canvas unissued so you can see the typical wooden material style of buckle some extra fastening straps hmm. kind of a pouch area there series of shoulder possibly and waist attachments let's we'll see how that rigs up you can see already we have some markings there very interesting and I believe it would possibly be mounted this way but don't hold me to it one of these ways to orientation and the sticks would actually thread through these so it's got spots for four of these as you can see these four loops right here through my fingers so again Chinese stick grenade pouch OD canvas unissued very interesting last but not least very heavy I have here two let me just read them off Let's see. URG 86 SK grenade check used. So I believe these are training grenades. They have already prominent stickers on them. Let's go ahead and read those. So they are out of the bag. <laughs> No drama here, but uh, okay, can you read that? This is an inert, non functioning training device that contains no materials. Can you read that there? So these are basically duds. Quite hefty though. Only got two of them. They were a little, a little bit spunny, but they were. Uh, appropriately priced. Interesting that they have pins on either side. I do believe they're supposed to be on the left next to this trigger. And these are interesting depending on what position you set the screen switch to. You can affect the timing of these. So again, <clears throat> URG 86-SK grenade check used, so training devices. We also had a couple of grenade launchers used, referring to my notes. This one would be an SMLE Enfield. Number four, Mark one. This one would be an SKS Yugo 5966. We also had a bunch of pouches, so this one would have been a, the Chinese stick grenade pouch, OD canvas unissued. We also had two of the pouches, single grenade, new as well. And we also 
has started off with an entrenching tool carrier shovel cover. So these all came from uh, Numrich Gun Parts Corporation. Feel free to check them out. They have a large variety of items. This has been another unboxing video. Feel free to check out other unboxing videos on the channel. We also do show and tell videos on vintage Milserp tools and expanded topics. We also do a series of book review media reviews and also a series called Curios for the Curious. Videos on more artsy type objects. Feel free to check all those out. Feel free to like and subscribe and thanks for watching. See you next time.